So using GitHub Copilot in game development, this is a video about that. So this is just a quick video to demonstrate that I'm making a game and it had a lot of four each loops that, uh, well, look the same. So with GitHub Copilot, you can actually make the typing process a little bit faster. I'm not going to say that this is like a, sometimes GitHub Copilot does make errors, uh, but it makes you type faster as it does all of the completion for you. It's basically a better autocomplete. That is what I think. So you can see that this is right now, I'll try to show it to you if you can see it, that this little area over here, this is basically uh, in gray as this is the suggestion that Copilot gave. And this for each loop will be completed like this. And I have these for, loop, for each loops. I have, I have quite a lot of for each loops that I need to process. So you can see that the GitHub Copilot is automatically completing this. I'm not the one who's doing this. So this is one example of how Copilot can really, really help you save time. And this is one of those, one of those examples. So you can see that right now I am going to be processing. This was no diagonally upwards, backwards. So no diagonally upwards, backwards. Now it should, it should read, write the for each loop for uh, no diagonally downwards forward. So let's see if it does that. So it says no diagonally downwards and forwards. So upwards and backwards, which is this downwards and forwards. And you can see that it completed the for each loop for me. So this is an example. You, if you invest in GitHub Copilot, it will help you achieve this faster. Otherwise uh, you will probably have to write everything on your own. So it just it helps you save time, reduce costs, and offer better prices to your clients as some of the work is being done. That does not mean that it automatically does all the logic for you because sometimes you have to give GitHub Copilot something to work with. But once it gets an idea of what is required, most of the things it will write most of the things that you require and save time. This is very important if you wish to reduce your cost and the cost for your client. So you can see that right now it's nodes diagonally downwards backwards. So let's see node diagonally downwards backwards. Now it automatically knew that I want to process node diagonally left forward. And it actually found that out. And now it's going to write that. And of course it doesn't glitch that is. This happens on JetBrains. This is sometimes, sometimes it happens on JetBrains that it doesn't properly format things. So this is just an example of uh, GitHub Copilot for you.